Let's get you up to speed as you start your work day. JQ, what are we expecting out of doors? Uh, there's going to be a lot of clouds out there, but those clouds are going to finally push on out of our area. Uh, temperature wise, I think we're going to be looking pretty nice. 50 degrees. It's going to be chilly for this morning. Those clouds are out of here, so there goes the heat. The clouds can actually hold in the heat a little bit. We got 39 right now in Buckeye, so some 30s on the map. But that's about 69 degrees, so temperatures at least coming down a little bit for today. You're right, it is colder this morning. Yeah, I definitely could tell. All right, at 503 in the morning, we do have one incident that may cause some delays for you this morning, so listen up. State Route 87 northbound is closed at Gilbert Road. Traffic must exit onto Gilbert Road. I will keep you updated when that area reopens, but that's definitely going to cause some delays for you if that's the route that you take in the morning. So I'll keep you updated when we get more details. For the rest of the valley, we have nothing but green all over the map. I'll give you a look at our future cast coming up in my next report. Rachel? All right, thanks a lot, Vanessa. This morning, the Pima County Sheriff's Department needs your help finding a missing man. Take a look. 72-year-old William Baumeister was last seen in Tucson yesterday morning. He went out for a bike ride and has not been seen or heard from since. If you happen to see him or know where he might be, call police. The future of basketball in downtown Phoenix could be decided today. This afternoon, Phoenix City Council plans to vote on a $230 million renovation project that would keep the Suns at city-owned Talking Stick Resort Arena. The city would be on the hook for about $150 million. The renovations would begin in 2019 and wrap up by 2021. The NBA has been asking for a new or significantly upgraded arena for years. A new possible plan to keep water flowing through the Colorado River, Arizona's main water source for the next 10 years. Southern California's largest water wholesaler has given the go ahead on a drought contingency plan. It includes taking less water from key reservoirs as well as Lake Mead and Lake Powell. The final plan still needs approval. And if you live in Phoenix, listen up. The city scheduled a public hearing to talk about a proposed water rate increase of 6% next year and another 6% in 2020. Your ability to legally vape in Flagstaff has gone up in smoke or water vapor as the case may be. Lawmakers in the city have approved a measure that bans vaping in public places, extending an already enacted smoking ban to include vaporizers. That rule goes into effect January 10th. She's a former first lady turned best-selling author. Michelle Obama is visiting the Valley on the final leg of her book tour. Mrs. Obama's memoir called Becoming has sold over 3 million copies since it came out last month, making it one of the biggest book debuts of the year. And because of that momentum, she's adding a stop here in Phoenix on her book tour. You can catch her February 12th of next year. And you can bet Team 12 is going to be all over that one.